Before this video starts, make sure to go and check out the westhamway.co.uk. Link to their website will be in the description and let's crack on with the video. What's up guys? Welcome back to another vlog. Today it is West Ham versus West Brom. I'm back off to the London Stadium. Haven't been there in a while. Um, last time out we lost 4-0 to City. And we really we bounced back against Southampton, to be fair, a nice 3-1 win. It's really important we go into the break today with three points. Uh, a little bit before the game as well, I've been invited by Hamish Chat and the guys down to the boat event that they host before the game. So that should be awesome. I'll bring you guys with me. And come on, you irons, let's get these three points.
And we're back guys, uh, finished two all in the end, bit very disappointed of how it turned out because it was a simple corner we should have defended, but overall that was probably up there with one of our best performances at home this season, which we have to take credit from and credit to Bilic for making the changes he did, it wasn't working, he changed it at half time, brought Caleri on and it definitely, definitely worked. Literally like from the first 10 minutes of the game when they went 1-0 up, they were time wasting, trying to hold on to the ball, trying to keep, not even looking like going and scoring another, like, it was, it was a typical Tony Pulis team, and a typical West Brom performance, and they didn't deserve to get anything from today, which is probably the hardest part to take from this, but, what can you do? Lanzini had an outstanding performance today, uh, with a goal and assist, his goal was very well taken on his left foot as well. Uh, I was very impressed with him. Faguli again, growing, growing, getting, getting better, getting com more confident on the ball, and he's definitely, definitely showing what he can bring to a West Ham shirt. As for the rest of him, I thought Kiate was solid. Uh, Reed and Fonte looked very, very decent at the back, and Obiang was Obiang. Snodgrass worked very hard, and although it wasn't his best performance, he he, he did all right. He did enough. He did well. But at the end of the day, it's a nice point. Uh, it sets us up nicely because we've got a nice break now because of the FA Cup. Uh, our next game's away at Watford and we can really regroup, get two weeks and get going again and really push on for this last bit of the season. But yeah, huge thanks to the guys at Hamish Chat that invited me down to the boat before the game. Uh, really enjoyed it. It was nice seeing everyone there and stuff. And a link to their channel, if you haven't heard of it or seen it, you probably have, will be in the description. So make sure to go check them out. Subscribe to their channel. And yeah, that's going to be all for today, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I filmed in 60 frames uh, today instead of 30, so tell me if you guys thought that made a difference. Uh, I think it looks a bit better. I'll see you guys on the next video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like on the video. Comment down below how do you think we performed. Where do we need to go from here to push on this season? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.